presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and that becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 202, Nasdaq's down 295. We got the S&Ps off 31.75. Gold. Gold contract down $9, trading at 2010 an ounce. We have silver down 43 cents, $24.95 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 28 cents, $75.63 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note down 27 ticks, trading 112.04. The 30 year down a full point, plus 17 ticks at 126.05 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 579 ticks, trading 100.856. The euro is at 111. The yen is trading out here at 140, and the British pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a little divergence here. You know, you get the SP pulling back with pretty light volume, whereas the NASDAQ has monster volume. So if we take a look at the SPY, you're going to see the SPYs coming into. You know, 80 million, you only get 47. You know, that being said, as I said in the update, I do expect we're going to finish at the lows. Why? Because you get a high volume low that's, you get two high volume lows that are just sitting out there. So, well, we're right next to them right now, actually. So we're going to go test them again. Oh, look at the expansion. We're going to blow it away, man. Look at this expansion. Oh, baby, let's take a look at this. So we get nine minutes. You get an expansion of volume coming down into them. So what's going to happen here is this. The high volume low is at uh, 45.63. We're at 45.65. Now, what I've seen is that when you get an expansion, actually, before you even get to the low or get to the high, your probability is much larger that you're going to accelerate on the next bar. So the next bar just started. This bar here, it, it tried when we got that at low. The the two bars that try to get higher in the futures was 19,000, 19 and 16,000. We just came down with 26,000 and your high volume low is 40,000. So I suspect we're gonna try to get down into those and we'll see whether we break them. NDX 100, different ball game now. We take a look at the Qs. What you're gonna see inside the Qs is that the Qs are already, already have 52 million. So the Qs are trading 376. 372 is gonna be the first place that gets any type of support. So you get a big expansion of volume in the Qs. The Qs are gonna end up doing about 70, 75, 80 million shares, which, which is that expansion. So they're, they're letting that loose. We go to the NQs, they go to the futures, and I suspect just as in the S&P, they're gonna, they're gonna really sell this baby down. Well, they already have. <laughs> uh, they just did the next leg down. Look at this, yeah, they just did the next leg down. They got the volume behind the move. This has just been one leg down after the other. 
you're down 371 and inside the NDX, you know that you're down 2%, man. That's a big number. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market out here. Yeah, the 10 year note, you're down 27 ticks. We're trading 1.4 million contracts. So let's see what we're going against because I believe you're going against a lot heavy, heavier volume. So we're going against, yeah, you're going against 2 million. Now, you, you haven't held price, but the bottom line is that you're going to need a lot more volume than that in order to basically, you know, get and continue to go to lower price. And then the gold. We take a look at the gold market. We have with the gold market out here. Gold, it's pretty amazing that gold's only down $8.80, actually, with the, with the dollar starting to rally. But this, that's really cool, man. There's no doubt. You get 34,000 contracts. This, this is already in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And you get a pullback today, and you get a pullback with light volume. We go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. Different ball game. This dollar has some juice behind it. You get the wide price spread out here today. You know, the dollar's gone from 100.01 uh, .01 to 100.969, so it almost went up a full penny, or a thousand ticks. We're up 569 right now. Now, if you take this and we put this on how it broke down, that's too far. What you're going to see, we we'll bring this right across there, and this is a normal situation that, you know, you basically, you get a bounce going up to 101, approximately 101, like, well, 101, like 500. You know, so that's, that's not that much further than we are. We'll see if it can actually get further than that. Now, that's, that's on the full breakdown because we, we were building cars to do the breakdown, right? We did the breakdown, okay? It gets through it has the wide price spread, has the accelerated, well, we don't have volumes on the, on the currencies, gets through it on a wide price spread. When you bounce, normally what ends up happening is that you'll come back to that line. Now, let me just see what a 0 0.382 is on that whole move down. So if we take this back a little, a 0 0.382, it's coming around in the same place. A 0 0.382 is a 101, 09. So I suspect that's what we're going to get out of this, folks. It's going to be a 10109 to approximately a, a 101500. We'll see where that goes. Uh, bottom line, you know, some of the higher volume equities out here, you know, everyone went to Sherman Williams, but they started buying green out there as they have been lately. They bought red. You got Tesla's down $27. You got, uh, let's see. Apple's off two and a half bucks. You get Amazon off five and a half. Uh, well, actually, 5.9, $5.90. Google's down 3.57. You got Microsoft off, off 8.80. <laughs> you know, we're at such high numbers, man. You know, these numbers always just keep getting bigger. You know, they're not big in the context of how large the number is trading at, but they're big in the context of how fast they can go down and are up because they've got up just as fast. Dow, Dow Industrials, uh, up 214, NASDAQ down 300, S&P's off 31. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm Mr. Tim Ward. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 174. You get the NASDAQ down uh, 312. S&Ps are off 35. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, yeah, thanks for having me on again. Um, I sent you over four charts. I assume you got them. I do, and I have the first one up. All right. Uh, this is uh, the monthly chart, and it's the um, SPX. And I thought we'd get back to that, the previous high, which was back in January of 2022, up around that 4,800 area. But actually, there's a sideways consolidation, uh, February, March, and April there, uh, and I got a little... Uh, circled number there, 467.37.30. That's the high back in March. So the market basically had a kind of a sideways trading range there. Uh, and I think that's probably going to be resistance. And oh. we're approaching that level. We haven't hit it yet. I thought we may hit it, um, you know, short term, because I'm thinking we're going to start a consolidation here any 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 day now. Okay. You know, maybe it started, but uh, I thought we might get to that. 467.3730 area before that consolidation starts. And, and it still may. I just don't know for sure. But if you look at the bottom window, which is the XPX VIX ratio. Yes. And and that's a, this is on a monthly time frame. Uh, and the month is basically only you know, a little over half over. Right. But if that stays down there and the S&Ps hold up around where we are right now, then that's, that's a pretty big divergence on a monthly time frame. So anyhow, what I'm trying to say is you got a lot of cross currents here. Also, I want to say uh, I have the Bollinger Bands here on this monthly chart. Yes. And if you notice, the Bollinger Bands uh, is uh, pretty close to where the January 2022 happened, uh, up right around that 4,800 area. Okay. So my, my point is, if we do get to 4,800, you know, this year yet, even though I think we we'll may see a consolidation over the next couple of months, maybe three months. Ultimately, I think we do head head back up and, and go back up and at least test the, the January highs up around that 4,800 area. And that's also where the Bollinger Bands are. And those two things may stop that rally. Um, okay. So, anyhow, I'm kind of looking 4,800 by year in, and I, I, 
I think we may kind of flip sideways, possibly create a big trading range. Yes. Uh, so that's, that's kind of a bigger view. Okay. So, so then, um, okay, let's see. Yeah. Should, should I go to the next chart? Yeah, I just go to the next chart. So, this, so that's a monthly chart. So yep. that, that looks at the bigger picture. You know, nothing really is bearish about it. We got some resistance at 4,600 on the SPX and 4,800, which is basically the Bollinger Band and the January 2022 high. And that's basically what I wanted to say about that. So I don't, I don't think we're going to just keep on going. I think we're going to run into the resistance. And this is the next chart here, uh, the second window down from the bottom, or from the top, rather, is the VIX to VVIX ratio. Yes. And the VVIX is the VIX of the VIX. Right. And I, I've kind of screwed around with this thing quite a bit, and it actually does a pretty good job of, uh, of you know, once you start nearing highs, it works pretty well. A lot of indicators don't work worth a darn uh, try to find a high, but this one finds highs uh, pretty well. And what I want to point out as as uh, the the window right below the VIX the VIX ratio is the SPYs. Yes. And uh, I got a red line drawn there on the SPYs, where the SPX has not hit its uh, February, March, April highs. The SPYs have. So the SPYs is actually into a resistance zone right now. Interesting. And, hey, can you just or, say that again, Tim? Just say that again. That. Just go over that pot again, please. All right. Uh, the SPX uh, has has not run into the February, March, April highs yet. It has not touched those highs. Right. But the SPYs uh, is running into the uh, I see. Uh, those, okay. uh, February, March, uh, April highs. Right. Uh, so the S SPYs is actually into resistance zone, and the SPX has not quite hit there yet. But I what I'm trying to find here or look for is... Is if you notice the S SPYs is pretty much uh, fairly straight up over the last couple of months, last three months or so. Yes. And the uh, VB uh, the VIX the VIX ratio uh, still is pretty much uh, is making lower lows as the SPYs is making higher highs. So it's not really a divergence now, uh, at least. You know, maybe a real short-term one, but nothing of significance. Right. If you notice in the past, going into the 2022 high, the uh, uh, SPYs is making higher highs, and that ratio was making higher lows. And that was your warning that you're, you're heading into trouble. Right. Same now, thing happened back in the – I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, that, and, and, the, and the, is the – is the VIX slash the you know, ratio of the VIX of the VVIX, is that the two-day ratio? Is that what that's you're doing there, right? No, no, no two-day. No, this is different. Out. Okay, okay, I got it. I yeah, got it. Okay. So, well, yeah, I do have a, you know, a five-day and actually. No, I'm with you. I don't want to confuse frame. the audience. I got it. But I got I, it. Okay. Yeah, cool. what I'm trying to do is find out what the short term is. So I really took, you know, this is just raw material to really see if any short-term divergence is really showing up. Right. And uh, so that's the reason why I don't do any ratios in this one. I, w I want to see any ma minor bounces going on here. Okay. And if you look at go going back uh, to all those time frames, you know, this chart goes back to, what, 2017 or 18. Now, uh, all those significant highs, those ratios is going up as the SP was going up. And so far, that's not happening here. Right. And so, um, you know, I'm trying to find tick readings, uh, trend readings. That's not really saying much. You know, there's another uh, trend reading I got, a uh, 10-day trend reading. It gets down below 0.9. Usually, you get some consolidations. We're up around 10. You know, that's not helping. We're up around 101, I think, or 103. Is the uh, tick readings, uh, that's the trend readings. The tick readings not saying much. Uh, you know, next uh, Wednesday, they're going to 90 percent chance they're going to raise interest rates. Yes. Um, so maybe we rally into that time frame. I don't know. OK, uh, but cool. but I'm kind of I'm not real bearish here. I think at worst we flip sideways. I don't think any top's going to be meaningful. Uh, yep. and probably when we get up to around the January 2022 highs up around that uh, 4800 on the SPX, I think. 
you could have a decent high up there. Uh, but between now and then, I, you know, I, I think we'll flip sideways here probably into September, maybe October. I think actually August is going to be a down month. Okay. Uh, just to kind of just looking at some other stuff. But um, nothing real dangerous here is just, you know, I don't know. I'm along the SPX. So, you know, I'm thinking about pulling that position off. I'm trying to find a good reason to do it. And at the moment, I don't see a real good reason to do it other than, you know, I'm a little bit nervous. No, no, I'm with you. I got it. I get it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay, you, stay right, right there, the Tim. Rate thing, but that should show up in some indicators that, you know, the market's going to take a rest, and I don't see it here. But, yeah, but stay, I, hear, I hear the music, so I'll, I'll wait. Stay right there. Awesome, man. Uh, Tim Owen, Tom O'Brien, we appreciate your growl on problem. I want to stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow up 143, NASDAQ's down uh, 322, SP's up uh, 39. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and a prowl with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 146. You get the NASDAQ off 318. S&Ps are off 37. Uh, don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every day at odd-oracle.com. Okay, Tim, where would you like to go? Let's go to, uh, go to chart three. So I'm kind of done with uh, the S&Ps. Okay. Um, there we go. This, this chart goes... Yeah, it's uh, chart number three. The bottom window is the 50-day uh, uh, average of GDX up-down volume percent. 
Yes. And it goes back to 2010. And uh, it's a really good chart uh, to really uh, pick out kind of highs and lows. Uh, but every time it got down, uh, this is a bottom chart, uh, so it's up, down, volume, percent. Yes. And every time it got down below uh, minus 20 or lower, you were looking at a low. And every time it got above, uh, this is kind of a, more of a short-term type indicator. But, you know, the signals last several months. Okay. But every time it got above uh, minus or plus 12, it was usually you're near a short-term high. So the market kind of just swings back and forth. Yes, and especially in, the gold market, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a gold market. So, uh, But, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for, you know, whatever's going on right now with GDX, I think it's going to continue. And it's going to continue until uh, the bottom the, the 50 day average of the up down volume advance, uh, advance decline or up down volume percent gets above or gets up close to plus 12 or higher. Okay. And we're, we're coming in right now, now about minus eight. So we've got a long ways to go. Nice. And so I'm thinking this is multi month. Uh, uh, so it, it may take, uh, I think we're going to go up until October. Okay. In a nutshell. Yep. Then from there, don't know and and um, yeah. that'll be a nice I'm run, thinking, man. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be. I think a nice rally. So this this is this is still early in the stage here. This signal, I think, came in around mid June, uh, late June. I think it was. I have to go back and look. Yep. Uh, this this signal is not very old, relatively speaking. So this rally, uh, even though we're down, uh, what? Two point six four percent right now. You know, you got to buy pullbacks, and uh, this is probably a pretty good time because eventually we're going to turn right back up again, if not next week, the week after. So, this chart doesn't doesn't look at all the wiggles in a day. It looks at the bigger trends, which is sweet. Well, trend. you can see, you know, even here, I'll put this chart up for our listeners right now because this is there's no doubt. I mean, if we go to the Wyckoff method for a second, you know, this is as good as you can get. You're going into 44 million shares and you've only done 12 million today. <laughs> so yeah, you get a yeah. pullback, but you're pulling back into strength and a month and you know, like with no volume man. so yeah, I'm with right. you. Yeah. Yeah. You you know, could it be down tomorrow? Maybe. Yeah. But hopefully we are going to head higher. Right. And it's kind of hard to say how high I'm thinking we're going to go, you know, this is I may change this projection, but I, had, I did some other projections, uh, I don't know, a month ago or so. And I keep coming up with around 44 on GDX. And okay. that's a long ways up from here. Yeah. Um, don't know that number's going to be valid or not, but uh, I think it's definitely a, it's in the cards. And so this kind, of, this kind of takes a big chunk. Most of these signals, again, last several months, you know, some longer. Uh, but... You're, you're talking a three, four month rally here. Yes. So, um, if we look on the next chart, um, this is so I always like to look at the monthlies, the weeklies, and down to the dailies. Right. I usually I used to screw around with the hourlies. I don't want really to mess with those anymore. Okay. Because um, if I'm a little bit off, you know, so be it. But long no, I'm as with the, you, the right? No. Going in my direction. Right. You know, you, chances are you're going to be just fine. So th this is a weekly chart here, and uh, the, the bottom window is the uh, weekly uh, cumulative advanced decline percent for GDX, and the next window up is the cumulative GDX up-down volume percent. And I did a Bollinger Band on it, and every time, you know, if you're above the uh, mid-Bollinger Band on both indicators, it's a buy signal. If you're below it, it's a sell signal, and the uh, red is a the sell signal and the blue is a buy signal and it doesn't matter which one goes above it first either one okay so uh, the bottom one went up above the mid bollinger band first so that's the buy signal so last week it created the buy signal and the next chart up hasn't quite got above it but my my history suggests either one does it that's good enough for the buy or the sell i see okay so the, so this is on a buy signal as of last week. So it's a little bit lagging indicator, not compared to the previous one that gave a buy signal around mid-June. This just gave a buy signal last week. And you know what's so cool, uh, Tim and folks? Let's look at the, watch this, folks, okay? I just put this up. I put a chart up here, Tim, of the Bollinger Band, right? 
Man, this is this is no doubt, man. I and the bowling, yeah, the bowling I put ban on what on GDX or I did. I put the Bollinger Band on GDX. I went back six months, and you can see right what you're saying, man. It goes underneath that middle one, man. It trended all the way down. It jumps above it. Trended all the way up. You had a little congestion yeah. like in April. It screwed around a little, but then it went down again all the way until like five days ago, man. Right, and then bang. Yeah, right. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Momentum. You know, it, it actually, Bollinger, or, uh, John Bollinger got it right. You know, and and uh, the market trends. And uh, yes. so, if you look at the bigger trend, the weekly charts. You know, uh, what rule though the the daily charts. So you really got to start looking at the bigger picture, see what's going on. So right. when this chart gave a bicycle last week, it's usually not a week. You know, a week or a few days bicycle. This is going to go. You on for a while, so it kind of confirms the chart we just showed here previously, the chart number three. So, yes, it yeah, yes. looks good. You know, we'll, we're going to keep going up. You know, probably to maybe top. You know, those two bottom indicators, we may get to the upper Bollinger Band on both of them. I don't know how high is high, but um, you know, the I, I like the, the idea. Last couple of years. Yeah, no, I, uh, I like the idea that you have you a got, couple got different the beat out of it. You know, uh, there's you know, no doubt. There's no doubt. I like the yeah. idea how you have a couple different um, things you can look at to verify, you know, in, in this particular case in the GDX, you can use the Bollinger Band to verify the last chart that we just did with the up-down volume because then, then you get harmony, right? If you get both of them the same way, your probability of being right goes up pretty dramatically, man. Yeah, it goes up dramatically. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking we're, we're going to be on the radio again in October. And I'm thinking we're probably going to look at the high. So we'll be talking about that. And everybody will be screaming, you know, how great the gold market is. It's going to go on forever. <laughs> and, and I'll be getting a thousand calls. Forever, yeah, I know. It's not going to keep going up. You know? <laughs> so, and so, you know what's amazing, Tim, is that what happens is that when I get no gold calls, those are normally lows. And then, of course, when I get a whole bunch of gold calls, we're right next to a high. That, that's just how life goes, I guess. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that's how life goes. When everybody's convinced it's going to go up, it's usually just the, yeah. the opposite. So Pretty amazing, that, man. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. hey, can you just stay for one more segment? I want to ask you a, 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 a different question about this S&P for a second, all right? Just stay, stay, stay right, tight. I'll, I'll hold. Awesome. Stay right there, folks. Tim Ward, uh, Tom O'Brien will be coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 160. NASDAQ is down 293. S&Ps are off 34. Tim and I come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, are up 156. NASDAQ is down 285. S&Ps are off 32. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Wood. We're talking markets. Tim, let me ask you, on the S&P, right, the, I okay. don't think we went over it this week. The ratio that you use on the weekly between the VIX, is, is, that a, is that, you use a weekly ratio also, right? Between the SPY going higher and the VIX going higher. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. I actually, uh, 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 the one I think I showed you on your program is a five-week average. Yes. Um, three, three weeks is pretty good also. Okay. Um, I look at both, but five is it, just less messy, smooths out everything, and if you're Presenting a chart to an audience, that one's a little sure. bit easier to read. Right. But yeah, it's a three. It's a uh, yeah VBIX to SPX ratio, and um, that usually diverges at intermediate term highs, and that did diverge at the uh, uh, 2022 uh, high, and and actually all those highs before. So, so uh, this would get kind of interesting. Take take longer. Would. So. So, uh, would using that, do you get another signal at the close tomorrow night? Meaning, because it's a weekly. Right, it's on a weekly time frame, right? Yeah. yeah. You take it on the Friday's close, right? So you 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 wait and and usually, if you ever look at tops, you know they they kind of jag around. They try to go up and they, they do kind of fail, go back and forth, and and where bottoms, you know, a lot of times it's just. Straight down and straight back up. Yeah, no, and, they're nice uh, V's. I mean, so, listen, to folks, we've seen tops take six months. I, I, I know what I was just saying, man. There's no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of it. They just take months, and and you don't know if it's sideways consolidation for the halfway point of the move up, or it's actually building a top for a great big move down. Exactly. But that VIX ratio will give you that clue what's going on, plus volume studies and some other stuff. Sure. But, the VIX is a pretty powerful tool. A tool I've kind of put it in my my toolbox. I, I like it. It really it really helps um, uh, the trading. You know what what to, to do. As a matter of fact, when we were talking like a couple of months ago, I was predicting the market was going to go higher. Yes. You know the the reason why I was saying that because of the uh, that ratio going making higher highs. I'm I'm with it. I get it. Trust me. Like. <laughs> like you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I trade every day, so every day is a different day for me. But, you know, when you did come on, I says, okay, man, it was so hard to press that button going long, man. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it worked. That's the thing that's crazy, yeah. man. Do you know what I mean? It's like, right. okay, I, I get it. And and if you're trading a longer time frame, folks, it's really cool about this signal you know, like for investing, this is a nice tool for an investing too, Tim. I mean, more, even yeah. more so, right? Because it really, you know, picks out some nice highs and some nice, well, some nice highs. Let's put it that way. Yeah. 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 That, that ratio, matter of fact, uh, was outperforming to the upside, the SPX. Okay. And, and so the, the that ratio was getting stronger where the SPX is kind of going sideways. Yeah. And I'm thinking this thing's going to break up, you know. If it was bearish, it had done the opposite. The SP would be going up, and that ratio would be going down. But, right now, this uh, is the, the this is good. Right. The now, reason now we're to a point where 
it's kind of meandering around here, you know, on that monthly chart I showed. I know, know. That, that ratio is is gone sideways where the S and P's has gone up. So, That's why I was asking uh, you that question right now because you know we got the the, the low in the in the actual VIX. Okay, it goes back about three weeks, four weeks actually. The low in the last six days goes back about six days, and then you know today we got a little pop, of course, because you got a sell off. So that's why I was asking that question. I, I, I can't wait to see what that ratio is tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? So it's so right. Well, if you go, if you go back to you know uh, uh, chapter uh, chart one today's yes. chart. Yep. Yeah, if you look at the bottom uh, window there, that's I have the it. SPX VIX ratio. Right. And I circled in blue there, showing you, you that you did. You know the S. Uh, yes. Well, tomorrow is you know, the market's not. Clear. Tomorrow is the close, so that ratio has a chance to turn back up, but chances are it probably won't. But right now, there's a divergence. With the SPs making, you know, short-term new highs, and that VIX ratio is not making a new high. Okay. So that's what's kind of worrying me right now. Do, will we get to 4,600? You know? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm with, SPY I get it. has already, but the SPX has not. So right. does SPX need to? I don't know. Could. So, I mean... These are all probabilities. Oh yeah, you know, no, no, so. I get it, I get it, no doubt. That's that's what's so cool about trading, man. No, it's a, we're in a probability business, man. There's no doubt about it. You know. Yeah. So, and, and when you take a look yeah, at that, that, that uh, go ahead. You, well, when you just take a look at this one. run, I mean, the SPX in four months has gone from uh, thirty, yeah, thirty-eight hundred to forty-five, 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 yeah, forty-five. 78 man <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's uh it's uh it's, it's been a decent run and you know everybody's not still not really bullish here so yeah so i don't know it's you know we got a lot of you know we may have a new administration going in in 2024 and if the market really doesn't know who that you know, what, what i found out about the market if the market doesn't know it's easy you know what's going to go on it's usually a bad sign for the market when it okay. knows what's going on, what to expect, even though it may not be good for the markets, it, it still can be in a bull market. So I'm, I'm thinking next year could have some trouble because, you know, I don't know who's going to be president of, of 2024. Yep. Um, or, uh, well, it'll be actually, what, January 2025, right? Sure. I guess when he gets, well, you know what's so but, you know. cool about what you just said there? That's kind of like in life. I, I always tell people, man, hey, don't worry about telling me no. I Just give me an answer, man. Do you know what I mean? I can, I can deal with a no. Like if you just, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, it's very hard to deal with, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. If I can deal with, you know, either yes or that's great. If, no, okay, that could be a bummer. But the bottom line is at least you know what's happening and move on, right? You know, so it makes right. a big difference. Yeah, right. Right. So, well, you know, a lot of these indicators will help to help to give you a view of, of what, uh, you know, especially that VIX ratio, SPX VIX ratio type thing. Yeah. Will help to give you a view of what to expect. Because, uh, you know, I mean, even the VIX is actually pretty good even picking out bottoms because you, you can me measure the acceleration of that VIX, which is, you know, that's why reason, uh, that's why it, I use an ROC rate of change, and when that VIX panics, this panic in the market is like the trend going to four or five. Right. Uh, so you can use it the same way, pick out bottom. So the VIX is, has a lot more information um, that I'm just starting to discover over the last couple of years than uh, the trend does. Trend, you know, has a lot of panic uh, things to it. Well, also the, the VIX has so that's um, so cool. Uh, uh, pa panic things to it too. So I'm with you. Um, well, listen, man, yeah. it's yeah. always a pleasure. You have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Uh, and Tim's now, folks, he's on Tuesdays at uh, the 340 hour. And then, you know, that's that's one segment. And of course, on Thursdays, he's going to on at least uh, two segments. Uh, that's that's the 320 hour. Tim, you hey, listen, how, what's the weather like out there? You, you got is everything hot out there, too? No, it's, it's beautiful here. It's probably about, you know, low. High 70s, low 80s, no oh, humidity. Mike, that's awesome, man. Us, wow. It's, it's, it's nice weather, so. That's a beautiful right. thing. Okay, man. Well, you have yep. a great one and a safe one, Tim. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, up 151. NASDAQ's down 280. S&P's off 31. Now, check this out, folks, okay, because this is going to be a pretty good trip. Tomorrow is option expiration. Now, we have option expiration every day now because we have the S&P options. You have the weeklies. Now, tomorrow is the monthly, though. The monthly, we have tomorrow expiring 2.4 trillion in notational, basically, value. Two, you heard that right, 2.4 trillion, okay? Now, it gets more interesting than this. And the reason being it gets more interesting is this. On Monday... That is when the NASDAQ, okay, does the rebalancing. So <laughs> stay tuned tomorrow because it's going to be insane. Because it's going to be the last chance that large players in the marketplace, you know, you, you got to remember something. You, you have equity players and then you have option players. Then you have equity option players flat out. They're, they're basically hedging positions, you know, putting on positions. That's going to be done tomorrow. So... <laughs> it's going to be, we're already at the 2.4 trillion. We'll see how this baby shakes out tomorrow, but you're going to get some big action, man. That's the bottom line. It's real possible. I mean, you can see the differential out here today. The differential is pretty intense, meaning inside of the NDX 100. You know, you get the NASDAQ trading off 2%. You know, the S&Ps are only off 7 tenths of 1%, and the Dow is up 4 tenths of 1%. But we're going to have volatility, and the volatility is going to be in spades. And what you are going to also have is that you're going to have some of these, those bigger equities 
that picture this, all the funds have to sell those bigger equities, okay? To get the weighting structure correct, they have to buy small equities to get the weighting structure correct. So I, I'm sure that they probably already figured that out, how they can do this in the option market tomorrow, because the way that you would actually, one of the best ways you could actually do it is that, you know, it, it's basically, you know, you got a stock replacement inside the option market for the equity market. You're going to have players that do that too, folks. It's going to be a great day. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Don't miss Tommy. Don't miss everyone tomorrow, man. It's going to be wild. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Yeah, we'll get them, folks. Building